everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mero and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today I have a quick little tutorial for you guys on Clip Studio Paint. I have been using Clip Studio Paint for several years now and this is something that I just discovered how to do I think just a few weeks or days ago and completely changed my ability to upload my designs onto Society6 and other platforms. We've had a lot of tutorials on this channel on what to do, for example, if you're an artist and you have an abstract painting, so you can take a photo of it and then turn it into a seamless pattern using Canva. We'll leave a link to that down below, don't worry. And I've also thought about doing it with some of my liquid art designs. The thing is that these systems and these techniques are very nice when you're designing something to be used for Redbubble, for example, when they have the repeat option and basically tiling up seamless patterns on their products, as well as with a lot of other print and demand suppliers that have the option to work with layers and add more layers and basically tile up yourself. Like, for example, Art of Wear. But what happens with websites like Society6 when you flat out need to upload a design that is like, 16,000 pixels. Canva cannot make 16,000 pixels and if your original design made with Procreate or taking with your photograph, for example the abstract painting, is you know 3,000 or 5,000 pixel size, how are you gonna make it into 16,000 with a seamless pattern? The answer is Clip Studio Paint with pretty much two clicks. And without further babbling I'm gonna just take you to my computer and show you that because it is pretty cool and pretty easy. So hitting screen recording and making myself smaller while I open Clip Studio Paint. Now, what we have here is pretty much blank. We need to start thinking about the size that we want to do. And for now, what I'm thinking about is just a really big file. So for example, 16,000 by 12,000 size. And my liquid art from Procreate is, I think, 7,500 by 6,000, and they're not seamless patterns at all. So what I have to do in order to just basically stretch them all over 16,000 by 12,000 pixels is to click on File, Import. I'm not going to import my image. I'm going to import Pattern from Image. And all I have to do is go to my Society6 art. For example, you see one of these designs here, Fluid Pumpkin, 6,000 by 7,500. Let's have a quick look. So you can see that it's basically not seamless in any way. All I have to do is double click on it and I have a pattern and the thing is yes it's stretched it all over the place and it's a pattern but it doesn't really look native I mean it's just like a copy paste so all I have to do while being automatically on the object tool because I just imported an object scrolling down here to the tiling options and clicking on the square one which will create this and I can just move it around it's gorgeous I know I can also turn this around this way, which will make this my huge piece of art made from one single image. Now there are so many other cool things that you can do with this. For example, if I'm just standing on one layer here, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a base color, just white. I'm going to take a circle, let's create a nice little circle shape. And then take another circle shape sort of next to it. I'm trying to make maybe a design that is more or less an even square. Then go to my facts. Maybe let's go up to my hearts. Put a heart here and a heart here. And then convert layer to image, go to the object tool and tile this up. Now we're talking. Now we're talking a really cool pattern. And again, this is not a seamless pattern for say, it doesn't have to be seamless, but it is rather big and definitely big enough for you guys to use on pretty much any type of product. You can also do this sort of like view of it by shrinking one of the corners inside or taking it outside, sort of like this tunnel view. I kind of do like the tunnel view. I feel like it gives it a little bit of depth and you can also play around with that and basically play around with the visualization of this piece of art, including making it also a lot bigger or smaller as you go along. And this would be your pattern. Isn't that cool? It's just super, super fast. 
I'm just, I mean, you have this one and you have the original art made from a photo that was way smaller. So I'm pretty, pretty psyched about that. Now, let's just make myself bigger for a second. Because I really wanted to get this tutorial out of the way because it will be crucial for tomorrow as I'm doing a full Society6 tutorial. Society6 has so many different products and they don't have a tiling option. They don't have a repetitive option. And in many cases, you'll have to upload several files in enormous sizes. So I will be preparing in advance all the sizes that I need for Society6. I will be telling you all the sizes you're gonna need. Don't worry about that, but I'm gonna pre-make them in my computer using this exact same technique. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. Plus, you also asked. And if you like this video and found this content useful, please hit that like button down below because every time you do, it really does help my channel. And subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. As I said, I will be seeing you guys tomorrow with the Full Society 6 tutorial and the day after that on Friday with a video recapping one year on YouTube. I can't believe this day has come. If you have any questions for me about YouTube or in the past year on YouTube, please feel free to send it to me to my Instagram at may.arroyo or just comment your questions down below here and I'll answer them during the video. On the weekend, I'm also gonna be probably, probably hosting a very talented artist here to show you guys some really cool print-on-demand stuff from three different suppliers. I'm not gonna tell you what is the topic of that, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. But with that being said, that was it from me for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as usual, I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Bye!